hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. Today I was going to talk about EDC fixed blades and my top five EDC fixed blades of 2022. Um, for me, an EDC fixed blade is a knife that you can take the place of your everyday carry and you can carry it instead of your folder like this SE3 and S35BN. This would be on the big side if you like to carry a big chonkin folded knife. Um, the SE3 might fill your bill, but these knives can be, when I say EDC knives, I'm not thinking about knives that we take around the campsite. I'm thinking about knives like the little Baltic Blades Agnes here, which is a fantastic little knife that is super slicey, almost like an urban scalpel that has a nice kydex sheath that I carry on my belt, or like this little tiny SE Kandura, which again is less than a three inch blade and you can drop it in your pocket. So most of these knives I'm going to classify as either pocket droppers or little belt hangers like this Tucson TS247 and M390. And just while I'm showing some of these EDC fixed blades, in case you guys didn't see my quest to find a perfect EDC fixed blades, these two little guys right here are both Tucson's. This is the TS150 and S90V. It's in stock right now at White Mountain Knives for under 50 bucks. And this is the TS, um, I want to say it is the, you guys can read it there, but I want to say it's the TS247. Um, it was in stock at White Mountain Knives today, but now it's out of stock. But they get these in quite often, and this one's under 50 bucks also. So what I did before I found what I considered to be my perfect size, kind of my perfect EDC knives that make up the top five, I did have to was lucky to be able to go through some lower cost options just to see if I even liked carrying an EDC fixed blade. And I found that from a utilitarian standpoint, when I have this in my pocket or on my belt, I will pull it out typically quicker than my folder to give that quick cut, open that package. And the reason I've got my little six inch Ben Banner NAFCO titanium ruler that I can't read out here is in case as we go through these knives and look at them we can get some basic ideas but let's jump into this and start with number five and my top five EDC knives that I've carried and bought this year that have come to my collection number five would be the White River small game this knife came with a leather full nice handcrafted leather sheath but it was a belt dropper which means that it only held or you could only mount it on your belt and hang it down vertically which is not how I carry knives. Lucky for me White Mountain Knives sold Kydax sheaths which allow you to wear it on your belt or in your pocket in several different ways and guys I would say this for me personally is on the larger or the largest size of an EDC fixed blade knife that I carry or feel comfortable carrying often. Now my SE3, which I love, or some of my bigger knives, I'll always take to the campsite or I'll take what I'm hiking. But this little guy here has a blade that is right at about three inches. But what makes this knife larger and it makes it more usable is it has got a four and a quarter inch micarta handle. So some of these knives you're gonna see are gonna be right around that three inch blade mark, but they might have a smaller handle. I've got a medium to large size hand, but I can tell you that this little knife in S35VN feels fantastic in the hand. It's full tang as all of these knives will be. This has got sculpted micarta handles, fits the hand really well, and it comes in at number five in my top five fixed blade EDCs, and that is the White River Small Game. Moving on, we have the Viper Knives Lily 2. 
Now I wrestled with this one guys because if you've watched my other videos, you know I also have the Lily One, which is the drop point, large belly version of this knife. I love this knife. I carry it all the time. If you notice, I've got them mounted up with ulti clips just the same, so I pocket drop them. But when I'm choosing one knife out of a series, because I've got another series that we're gonna walk through here, that'll give you a better idea of why I show them both. But this is the Lily 2. So it is more of a sheep's foot blade. It is also full tang with carbon fiber, shred carbon fiber handles, LMAX steel, super thin and slicey, and fits my handles basically designed by Jesper Voxness, so you'll know it's gonna have good ergos. But for my medium to large size hand, I can utilize this knife with a couple of really good grips and the jimping that's really prominent here on this swedge or this poon holds my hand and locks it in place whether I have a full grip or whether I wanna choke up, pick advantage of the choil and have a lot more control of that blade. So this knife, I can cut the things I cut more more so more effectively than the lily one i love the look and i love the sliceability of the lily one but my number four knife and a knife that i could recommend either one of these designs to the viper knives lily one or in this case the one that got number four the lily two so oh let's do a real quick take the ruler that i cannot read and this blade It's got a two and a half inch cutting area. So you're looking at two and a half inches from here to here. You're probably looking right around three into the choil, but I use the choil. I'm only looking at the cutting area. And then the uh, lovely handle is gonna come in right at four or three and three quarters. So I've got a three and a three quarter inch handle there, not counting the choil. But the Lily 2 is a fantastic little knife. I'm glad I brought both of these into my collection this year, and that will serve as number four. Moving on to number three. This, I've got a favorite here, but guys, these knives are what I call perfect little group of knives. I almost look at this as a mini tool set. This is the MKM Micro and macro series. They're both MKMs. This is the knife that I was carrying today. This is the Micro One, which is a drop point. Has fantastic jimping, also designed by Jesper Voxness. Also, and this one's an M390. Um, perfectly balanced, so I can hang it there on my finger and that knife balances just perfectly. But that is the drop point. I've also got it because I also can carry this dropped in my pocket or I can carry it in this little sheath, the sheep's foot. And then MKM also has the Macra one, which is a drop point, and the Macra two, which is a sheep's foot. So I'm going to put a few of these out of the way real quick. I'll tell you what I picked and why. This knife, since this is the number three in my collection, I really will give all of these knives the number three spot. And then I'm going to show you my favorite because this knife is also Jesper Voxness. It's larger, so I can get a full four finger grip on this knife. It does carry a little bit, not much, but just a little bit more where I know it's there on my belt because I wear it at my appendix. Um, I carry it quite a bit in the sheep's foot, but the knife that is gonna get number three for this year, this also has a little leather sheath like the other ones, but this is the MKM Micro One, it's the drop point, it's pokey. Um, and I like to have a pokey knife with me. Um, this little knife rides invisibly on my belt. My car to handles, 
M390 blade steel like the rest of the MKM series. Super, super slicey. Super pokey. I mean like a splinter remover. So I can use this knife for a lot of different purposes. I've also got the sheep's foot, but for number three, it's the MKM Micro One. Super great retention. The little Kydex sheath clip kit came with a uh, ulti clip and these leather loop straps with I util which I utilize and it also came with a leather cord in case you wanted to wear this as a neck knife. Very small, very light, and while we have it out, if I can read this, the blade is right at two inches and the handle is right at two and a half inches or two and a quarter. And then it is again, this little knife carries invisibly, but for destroying packages, opening packages, opening plastic, those clamshells, um, really cutting through anything. Would I want to process cardboard with it? Absolutely not. I've got better knives for that. But when I carry knives every day, do I reach for this knife quite often? I do. And it's number three in my collection. Goes with me everywhere. One of those four knives does. And now we're going to move on to number two. Now this knife, or our number one knife, always go with me in my left pocket. They ride like a pocket knife would. I drop it down as a pocket dropper, have the clip riding over my pants. So all you see is a clip and the top of the knife. And this is, I carry it reverse in my left pocket, but this is the Boker Barlow BFF. It is a little Sullivan Germany ABEL steel, tiny in my mind. I mean, it fits my hand great, but it's aluminum sized. It is uh, bug out sized. Neither of those knives do I have out here with me, but we can do some measurements. It has brass pin construction, brass lanyard tube, really nice micarta, full tang, tool steel construction. More robust, but still very, very slicey. I've only had this knife for a little bit over a week, but I've carried it daily. It's replaced my number one small EDC knife, and I can tell it's going to be carried quite a bit, and it's going to serve the place as that left pocket knife. Guys, I'll have another video towards the end of the year because I do have several more small fixed blades inbound this year. I have quit buying for the year, but that does not mean that all of my fixies in one more folder are going to come in that we will get to go through. So this one is just a hair under three inches on the blade. And the handle is going to be about three and an eighth. So about two and seven eighths on the blade and about three and an eighths on the handle. Again, ABEL tool steel on this little knife. Just fantastic. Little deep flat grind. Slicey knife, but it's also pokey. Just great fruit cutter, great string cutter, great box opener. Just a fantastic little knife. And then again, the way I carry it has a great retention sheath that it comes with. It doesn't carry as deeply as my number one but it carries very well, and it's from Sullivan, Germany. These are still in stock at River's Edge Cutlery, I know for a fact, and I would recommend it to anybody. So moving on to my number one, the perfect EDC fixed blade as of today. Keep in mind, I've got several mail calls dropping in the next few days. I don't think any of will upset this one, but I've got some sweet little knives coming in. But this is the Oak City Leatherworks Sheath with my chickadee in it. So I've got to spend a little bit of time ranting about this pocket dropper sheath or containment slip, whatever you want to call it. I call it a slip. It's got a fantastic clip on it. I drop it in my pocket, just like my other knives. Clip goes down, it's deep carry. So this is all that you're seeing on top of my pocket. 
and this little knife, I can easily pull out. I can easily get three fingers on it. It's S90V, full tang, made in America by Jacob Creates. I just recently put these little micarta handles he made on it. I've also got a set of G10 handles. But guys, this knife's a little bit more on the pricey side at under $300, about $250. But it's American made, hand ground, fantastic materials. The drops I've been missing out on lately are the ones he's released in MagnaCut. This S90V is fantastic, but I am as selective as I am about buying knives right now. Jacob's Create is at the uh, front or forefront of my radar, and I will be keeping my eyes out for additional opportunities to own his knives and bring them into my collection. And this one, I want to give a special shout out to Honey Bear 85, my brother who knew because he'd been following my Instagram and I guess he'd watched some of my YouTube videos that I was looking for a chickadee or a chickadee type knife. He just happened to have this knife in his collection with this Oak City Leatherworks sheath. And uh, he wasn't carrying it much and asked me if I really was serious about wanting one. I told him I was dying for one. And guys, he made me a bro deal it's the second time Honey Bear has, without ask, done something super kind for me, and I consider him a brother, and would hope to soon, one day, very soon, be able to surprise him and repay the favor. Honey Bear, you're the bomb. But that, guys, is my top five. Did we measure this one yet? This little blade is right at two and a quarter two and a half inches. We'll call that two and a half inches on the blade because it is two and a half inches on the handle. Perfectly balanced. Carries great. Again, this is my left pocket knife or the Boker is. I've got my blade carry knives or my, excuse me, blade carry. My belt carry knives. So my number one is going to be the chickadee. Number two is going to be the slightly larger Boker. Both of them are pocket droppers. Number three is my Micro by MKM. And then number two, even though it was a tough decision, was the little two Viper knives which is the sheep's foot designation. And then number five, again, I'm a larger size of what I carry, but still a fantastic knife, the White River Small Game. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Everything I do on my channel is very subjective because knives are, we all love different things. Um, be curious what you guys carry, what you guys like. I can let you know that our friend, the Knife Inquisitor, Mike Ye, threw a knife out when we were on a live stream last night, and I immediately checked it out. It was right up my alley, and it's one of the ones I've got inbound. Thank you, Mike Ye, the Knife Inquisitor. But guys, please, please, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for one another. Go forward with love in your heart. Let's choose debate over hate. I love each and every one of you. Till we meet again, peace.